Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It really is important that you please do take whatever does um, resonate with you and the rest of it just leave it aside. If you feel as though it doesn't quite make sense, you're not quite right with it, leave it. It's okay. If ever you would like to contact me, please do so. You can find all of my information, so list of readings, you can find contact, whatever it is that you probably need from me is most likely contained right below into the YouTube description box. So please do check it out and it will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. And while I I am into the thanking moods. I would also like to thank every single subscriber. I thank you for being there. I thank you for listening. I thank you for commenting. I thank you for being part of the channel. I truly do appreciate every single one of you. I also would like to say I thank you for everybody who has given a donation to the channel. Very appreciated and I am very grateful. So thank you once again. That being said, let's start this reading. These are messages from spirit that you must hear, that you just must know. So we're using some tarot here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by uh, turning these cards over and then we're going to go with an overall feel what is going on and then as an overall energy if you will and then I'm going to go within each one of these cards and give you the um, a little bit more in detail, okay, the information on what is going on. So um, I turned over the temperance, the three of wands, the eight of cups. I have the three of cups, I have page of swords, and I have the two of pentacles. So I feel as though right now you have a decision to make and you're trying to look for a decision and this has to do with your long term. Um, I'm feeling like this is more emotional, but it can be work related also. I feel like maybe you're having a little bit of a difficulty, maybe balancing um, different worlds together to get exactly what it is that you would like to have. That being said, I feel like at some point you might decide to turn your back onto something or onto somebody and to just try a new path. But that new path is going to bring you quite some joy from what I can see. So this is the overall energy that I'm getting right now. Um, I'm going to go within each one of these cards to give you a little bit more description since it is a general. It it might come and get you a little bit more if you know your case is not the main one. So we're going to start this off over here with the the beautiful temperance. Now, this is all about balance. Balance is a beautiful thing. Temperance, this is about, you know, as we can see, she's a radiant angel and she's out in the rainbows and she's balancing, you know, she's just balancing things, everything out, bringing things together into harmony. So your life is off kilter and you need to create some balance a little bit here. Okay, as I said, I think you might be having problems over here balancing a few things out. And this is coming from these two cards here. So it's a little bit off kilter. You need to create some kind of balance. Maybe you're burnt out from working too much. Um, that could be a possibility. Um, it could be maybe you, you know, it could be something that you're doing too much of. It could be binge TV. It could be uh, your house is a mess. Something is bothering you. Something is just off somewhere. You need to watch out for that. So it is time for you now to put your house in order and to start doing things, but everything in moderation, one thing at a time. You're going to find out that if you work to balance all the different aspects of your life, nothing is going to feel so much easier, okay? Try and face this task with optimism and positivity and really just enjoy the wonderful things that are in your life, but really equally without having an overindulgence in any type of, um, of sphere. So we're going to move on over now to the, um, to the three of wands. Now, the three of wands over here, this is why I'm saying... Um, this is about standing solid, okay? Your ground, are you are grounded. You are there. You've got your wands. They're supporting you. You're holding them and you are contemplating your plans. As I said, you're looking afar. You're trying to see where it is that you exactly want to go, what it is that you want to do because I feel like you're kind of unsure about the position that you're in right now. Maybe this is part of a little bit of your life being a little bit um, chaotic right now. Maybe not quite in order as you would like it to be. So this is about you working hard and getting ready for the future. This is working and you've got solid strategies. So all you have to do now is to simply start to put all of these um, solid strategies, but into, um, into function. So one, you know, one at a time. And moving over here to the Eight of Cups. Now the Eight of Cups over here. 
I have to say, whenever I do see the Eight of Cups, I feel like you're leaving something behind, as I was saying. Um, and I know it's going to be tough, but whatever it is that you've been pouring all your love in and all your emotions in, you need to just kind of step away. It may it be momentarily, it may it be for a longer period of time, you need to step away. You need to look away for something new. Something is just not working out within your life right here. Um, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to move forward. And I know it's going to be very difficult, but you've invested a lot of time. You've invested a lot of energy into this, whether it be your career or a love relationship. But you know what? Wisdom comes from knowing when something is hopeless and learning from it and simply moving on from it also. Um, so this is what I'm gathering here with the Eight of Cups. Um if we move on over for a little second here to the uh, two of pentacles as we're, you know, moving along here with the balancing and everything, I want to speak here that this is about your experiencing like really busy challenges and everyday life kind of, you know, you're trying your very, very best to handle everything quite gracefully, you know, and manage everything, balance everything out. And you are in sync with your own rhythm though, with your world. And this is about the movements and the decisions, how sometimes they're not quite orchestrated the way that you would like them to be orchestrated. So this is about you um, having to having the need to be, I would say, adaptable, having the need to be somewhat flexible flexible in your plans. Um, and if you do continue to do that, if you are adaptable and you are flexible within your plans, you're going to be able to get and to achieve what it is that you do want to achieve within your plans that you're going to decide here, because I do see it right over here. This is coming for you. Um, with a page of swords over here, the page of swords is is all about a wild energy. It's that drive. It's that relentless action. This is about not wanting to stay still all that much. It's wanting to move. This is about never running out of crazy things to do or to say. This is about a true idealist, really. Um, this can be really exhausting, though, but it's really about using that determination. You have a great determination. You need to use it to move on forward, okay, to do those plans that you want. Um, but now the page, you know, pages, they dive in head first and and, you know, sometimes into some wild schemes and some plans. So this is really about, you know what, find those who are going to be around you, who are going to support you and who want to embark into the same adventure with you on all these wild plans that you have for your future. Um, and I do feel as though you are going to be finding these people because we are going to finish this up over here with the Three of Cups. And now the Three of Cups is really all about, um, it's time to raise a cup, it's time to celebrate as we can see here, to cheer because their celebration or you're going to be surrounded by friends that love you and you love them in return. So now is simply the time to share it, to enjoy it, to have that gratitude of having people around you. Um, either a close friend, um, either you or a close friend has possibly achieved something that might just be quite incredible or maybe you're just really recognizing how much they mean to you right now. But either way, this is about, you know what, it's party time. Enjoy whatever it is that you have accomplished or your friends have accomplished. As I said, there's decisions to be made. There's some balancing to be put back into your life, a little bit of, of, of temperance here. Um, decisions, turning your back on certain things for a little while, may it be career or relationship, but it's in order to go towards a new path and you're going to go towards that new path with great determination. So good for you. This does conclude this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that spirit brought you some very interesting messages. If you have any questions and you would like to um, contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Um, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to 